Do you want to turn this into this? Well, I got you covered. First, we need this, the template. So we're going to go over to the Roblox homepage. Then hop over to the Create tab. Go to Creations. Avatar Items. Classics. Change your classic type from classic t-shirts to classic pants. Then click on Upload Asset. Click on Learn More. And you'll be taken to this neat little page that'll tell you all about classic clothing. But we're just going to scroll on down and you got yourself a shirt template and a pants template. We're going to want to click on this link right here that says Pants, Torso, and Legs. Once you do that, you'll download a .zip file in which you want to go to your file explorer. Downloads. Right click on the template package and extract the files. And now that you do that, you'll have this little folder that will give you a pants template and a shirt template. Then head on over to Google and search PIXLR and click the first one, which is Pixlr.com. And on the bottom left, it says Pixlr Editor. You want to click on that one. Then click on Open Image and find that file that you extracted earlier and open up the pants template. And now that you have the template here, you're going to want to make it transparent. To do that, you want to go over to the toolbar here and click on the select tool. Then zoom in on the faces here and you're just going to want to drag from one corner all the way to the other. And then just press on delete or backspace, both of them clears it. And just do that for each and every one of these faces. And now you have a transparent template. Beautiful. And one thing I forgot to mention, if you end up using your own template that's separate from the Roblox template, is that the size needs to be 585 by 559 pixels, otherwise it won't upload onto Roblox. Now go ahead and create a new and empty layer and drag that layer underneath the background layer. Head on over to your fill tool, change your color to whatever color you want these pants to be. I'm going to go with a nice little brown color. And once you do that, go over to the arrange tool. And with the colored layer selected, just drag this layer down until only the bottom half is colored and the top half is completely transparent. And now if you want your character to be barefoot, quick and easy way to do that is to just go to your select tool, make sure your layer is selected, your colored layer, and then just drag the bottom half here and just press on delete or backspace. And just like that, you've got yourself a barefoot pants. But it looks pretty flat right now, so maybe you want to add some shading. I don't know how to add shading on Pixlr. So we're just going to go over to Google, search Roblox shading template. Once you do that, go over to images and you'll find multiple different templates here, although not all of them will be transparent. So if you want them to be transparent, you're going to want to click on tools, color and transparent. And then all of these images will be transparent. So you can just look around and find a template of your choice of your liking. However, I'm just going to go with this one right here. To use the template, just right click on it and copy the image. Then head on over back to Pixlr and then do Control plus V and it'll paste itself on a brand new layer. The template is kind of out of place right now, so you can always just adjust it by using the Arrange tool and just move it upwards. Go to your Select tool here and just select this whole top torso area just like that. Then you can press on Delete or Backspace. Scroll on down and here you might find some uh, shading on the barefoot if you want it to be a barefoot. We're just gonna select that bottom area as well and just press the little backspace and that'll get deleted as well. And there you have it, some shaded barefoot pants, if that's what you want. However, we're gonna add some shoes to this, make it look a little bit more fancy. So create a brand new layer and then go over to your shapes tool, draw, bezier, Keep the outline at around five and then choose what color you want these shoes to be. I'm just going to go for a nice dark gray color. Now, if you didn't know how the Bezier tool works, it's very simple. You just hold down left click, create your line, let go of left click, and then just move your cursor around and it'll create a curve. If you want the curve to stop, left click once more and the line will just stay there. Of course, we don't want a line there, so we're going to undo that by doing control Z if you didn't know. And so let's get started on the shoes here. And one thing to keep in mind with shoes or any part of the pants is that this area right here is the front of the shoes or the front of the pants. This side will be the right side of the pants. This side will be the back side of the pants. And this side will be the left side of the pants. We only need to create the shoes on one leg because later we will duplicate it and just drag it on over to the other leg. To get started on the shoes, you want to go make sure you have your Bezier tool selected. Then just drag a line from here to here. Let go of left click, go to the center or around the center, try to center as best as you can, and then just bring this curve upwards just like that. And that will be the front of your shoes. 
This will be the side of the shoe, the right side of the shoe to be exact. Switch from Bezier tool to line tool, and then just create a straight line just like that. There we go. This will be the back side of your shoes. So we're gonna change it up a bit. We're going back to the Bezier tool, try to create a straight line. Then we can create a curve using the Bezier tool, just a small curve, not as much as the front side, but just a little bit of a curve for the back side of the shoes. Now that you got that, you can then end it off with another straight line. So go back to the line tool and then just go straight like that. And then you got the outline of your shoes completed. The next step is to go over to your draw tool, change your brush size to around uh, 55 or so, and change your softness to zero, steps to zero. Make sure your color is the same as your shoes, which it should be. And then just fill in your outline just like so. Make sure you fill the bottom as well. And now that you've done that, those are some pretty flat shoes. So we're gonna add a bit of detail by adding some uh, highlights or some shadows. And to do that, you're gonna wanna stay on your draw tool, change your brush size to around 120, change your softness to around 60, and now your brush size will be around the perfect size for this bottom part here. So what we're gonna wanna do with that is we're gonna change the color to a slightly lighter version of your shoe color. Just click once at the bottom here and it'll create a nice highlight for the bottom of the shoes. And now you might want to add that highlight to the rest of the shoe parts. And to make sure it doesn't get on the pants, you're going to want to go to your wand select tool, change your tolerance to around 60, and then just select the shoes. And then go back to the draw tool. Your brush size should be fine. And just click once on each part of the shoes, like so. And then you can deselect it by going to the select tool and just clicking anywhere outside of the selection. And now that you do that, you've got some highlights, a little bit of shadows on the shoes. We're going to add a little bit more detail to the bottom of the shoes because it looks pretty flat. And to do that, we're going to go over to the shape tool once again, the line tool, change your outline down to around two. We can then start creating lines on the bottom of the shoe. And then you can even add some variation by going back to your Bezier tool and then just creating a line going straight across like this and then curving it upwards around the center and then doing the same thing underneath it. And this way, there's a bit of a pattern on the bottom of the shoes. Then you can just go back to the line tool to finish it off. And you could keep it like that if that's how you like it. However, I'm going to just blur it a little bit, make it look like it's worn out a bit more. So I'm just going to click a few times around here. And the front of the shoes still looks a little bit plain, so I'm going to add some laces. And to do that, we're going to go back to the shape tool, draw, bezier, outline at two is fine. And then change your color to whatever color you want these laces to be. I'm going to go with a nice little whitish gray. And depending on the style of laces you want, you could create some loops by going and creating some lines like so with the bezier tool. And then just dragging it out so it looks a bit more like a loop. And just do the same on the other side. And those could be your laces as is if you want that. But I'm just going to go with some other laces that personally I think looks better. And that's just making a straight line across like this with the Bezier tool. And then just going to the center, just bringing it upwards just a little bit. And there you have it. You got some laces added onto the shoes. It could even use a little bit more detail by going over to the draw tool. Changing your size all the way down to 1, softness to 0. Then using the color picker tool, you can pick the color of your shoes. Going back to the draw tool. Then you can just darken this a little bit. And then you can add some shadows to the laces like so. And I'd say that's the shoes completed. You can always add some more details if you'd like. And now we can just copy that over to the left leg by selecting the layer, doing Control D. And that'll create a copy of the layer. And now make sure you have your arrange tool selected and then click on flip horizontal and you can see that it's the opposite way around you're just going to want to drag this to the right and it looks perfectly symmetrical just play around with it a bit if it doesn't look right and there you have it you got your shoes on both of your legs i'm just going to add a little bit more detail to make it look more like pants such as pockets so to make pockets i'm going to create a new and empty layer i'm going to make it under the shading layer and then I'm going to lock the shading layer so that way whenever I move anything on the layer 6, it doesn't actually move the shading. And now we can just go over to the shape tool, Bezier once again, go to the color picker tool, then just select the color of your pants like so. And now go over to your shape tool once again with the Bezier tool, outline 2, 
change the color to a bit of a darker version of your pants color. You're gonna go like that dark, I'd say. Just make a little bit of a triangle in the bot in the top left corner of the pants, like so. And try to create yourself some pockets. Curve it so it looks as much like pockets as you can. And then we can add some more detail to that by going over to your outline, making it down to one. And then you can just create another line going from the outside of this to the outside of here. And just creating a bit of another outline around it. And I think that looks pretty good for the pockets. You can do the same thing as the shoes and just duplicate it over to the left leg. However, I'm going to add a bit more detail by adding some pants folds. And to do that, it's very simple. Just go to your line tool, outline at two. We're just going to create a straight line down the center, just like that. And now you can then create another straight line over on the other leg. Try to center it as best as you can. To check if it's centered, I think you can go over to your select tool. You got 30. And we got 34. We need to move this line a little bit to the right. So I'm just going to select that. Use the arrange tool. Move it two pixels to the right. And then I'm going to try this again. We got 32. And we got 32. And now that you have that, you have it only on the right leg right now. Now this should all be in one layer. So then you could just do control D. You got a copy of layer six right there. And then you're going to use the arrange tool to flip horizontally. Drag this to the right until it is evened out. And there you have it, you got yourself some pants on a template. The next step is to save this and upload it onto Roblox. So we're going to go over to the file on the top left, click on save, save it as a PNG, have transparent enabled, click on save as, and just name this whatever you'd like, I'm just going to name it pants. And just keep in mind that you only get three saves daily on a free account on Pixlr. Then just go over to your creator dashboard here, which if you still have this link up, you can just upload asset. Make sure your asset type is pants, by the way. Then click on upload and find the template that you just saved. And you'll see your template right there. I'm going to keep the name the same, the description the same. But now you can just click on upload for 10 Robux. You can now sell these pants by going to avatar items, classics, change the classic type to classic pants. And you'll see your pants right here. You can just click on it and put it on sale and set a price on these pants like that. And then you can just click on publish. Then click these three dots here, open on Roblox, and it'll automatically be in your inventory. And this is how the pants look in game. It looks pretty good. Look at this disgusting clown. This will be you if you don't subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. It's just a joke. <laughs> oh, I got you there. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. If you learned something, it'd be very much appreciated if you drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below or join my Discord. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you shouldn't expect many or any more tutorials as I'm not a tutorial guy. Okay? But stay tuned for some good content in the near future. Anyways, make sure you have a wonderful day and see you next time.